you're from the roads of Brixton or the surrounding area and your barber's playing games, you need that fresh shape up. Then it's Prince Cut Barbers you need to be heading to. And it's Prince P Money's chair you need to be sitting in. And it's 079 325 46601 is the number you need to be belly. Make sure you get the job done. By the right person. Nigga, don't waste my time. Say you wanna kill a nigga, wait in line. Say you don't feel a nigga, mate, it's fine as long as you never try to take pussy. Can I fire? Fire? But you're, team, remember, man. you're coming from a personal, yeah. personal perspective. You were fire, man. Come on, it's man. like Narja was one of my favorites. Yeah. But he wasn't fire, he was a lyricist. You get yeah. me? He wasn't. <clears throat> yeah. You get what I mean? What I'm but trying yeah, to say. But that's from with. a personal perspective. Who I'm wanting to know more about the life that I saw through my own two eyes. Heavy lies, look nothing surprising. True lies, limited. This guy nigga still getting burned, judge is still getting high. Fire man. You were fire. Remember him and Shaq had a crazy mixtape and all. Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, Dave, you was fire, man. You're fire, man. You have to give you have to give everyone their flowers, bro. Yeah, you that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm it, trying to show them these personal. man were lyrical. Because yeah. even Stinks, Stinks had some crazy bars. Crazy. But he never gave it the oomph. Like he was another dang. That ain't his style though. Ting in the waist, ting in your face. Oh, 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 oh. Give you a taste. I'm looking to say, I want the ready, so I want it no hazy. Your chain in your bezzy, you're feeling my belly. Don't step out of line. You clap for the night. Yeah, you see he's what style, I mean? I'm going for sick. the ones of you that had the mm. Yeah. No, so yeah, like, you we, know, like... We had when, aggression. Yeah, that's difference. what I'm saying. Yeah, I want to just talk on the But some people, it's so, so, like, no, bro, you can't do <laughs> that. you got face. That's bias. Face was mm. Yeah. You know we, what I mean? Yeah, we were aggressive. Yeah. That's all it is. We were aggressive. So we that's what aggressive. I'm saying. I don't want to take away from them because yeah. I know what they gave. Yeah. But you lot had the aggression that they yeah, never had. Yeah, but we have to still big them up. Lifestyles of hard niggas that's famous Some rides flipping games, some rides stainless Seems like you niggas forgetting what my name is M-A-N-T-A, double N ain't dangerous In my game, EA snubs, semis and gauges And I stay plie, run laps on any track That's like relay, one strap, couple of packs to fly G-Way Come on, you know what it is And you know I'm sitting with Legendary old Trey and PDC spitter Tanner You get me? The name speaks for itself. I grew up in Jamaica, then I moved to London at a tender age, got kicked out of primary school. Cause I was so badly behaved, my parents thought that I wasn't learning, man. So they sent me to my grandparents in Birmingham, and it hurt me, damn. I was a hundred miles away from my mom, pops, my sister's brothers, and Uncle Jake. Now the road's ever gonna see another first of fire from Tanner. What about a plain clothes part two, you and I are <laughs> big, man? No, bro. Fuck playing clothes and it's subliminal bars I bought big toys, spit subs in your car Don't wanna be my enemy part Believe me, you're gonna need a gun up with an enemy part I don't know about friends, but I know who my enemies are I got blood with my enemies are That pops love with my enemies are When I was making music, my music never had a positive, positive message yeah, yeah. It was, um, obviously It was very, um You get me, it influenced a lot of people negatively You know what I mean? And, um, I, obviously at that time I was living a negative lifestyle. Um, I've studied the game long enough to know, and like I've seen the game long enough to know that positive messages don't really sell units, innit? Yeah. Yeah, so obviously if I was to do music, I'd want it to be lucrative, as, as obviously, as far as UK music goes now, it's, it's come a long way. It's actually yeah. lucrative now. Yeah. So um, making music, no, because I wouldn't want to influence no one's child to go down the, 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 the path that I went down. Because yeah. all I was doing was telling my story in music. You know what I mean? So, nah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, the music thing definitely not for me. Um, but, you know what I mean? Like, like I said before, you know, like, salute to the, to the young people that's doing what they're doing. Because I still, I still listen to gangster music. Yeah. I'm just not influenced by it. I'm grown, innit? Yeah. But, you know what I mean? Um, younger people are very impressionable. So, you, you know what I mean, I wouldn't, you get me, I wouldn't want to be, um, yeah, I wouldn't want to be the reason why somebody's son is, you understand, serving this time or doing that because you listen to, to what Tanner was saying and he was somewhat influenced, although Tanner wouldn't be the reason why you did what you did or whatever, but the influence, influence is yeah. strong. And as I said, these young people are very impressionable, so 
Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm very mindful of that. And plus, myself, anyway, I wouldn't want to come across like that because I wouldn't want no one to believe that I'm the person I used to be when I know for a fact I ain't. When it comes to PDC, I'm more than a part of the shit. It's Bang Bang, Mr. Matena, I started the shit. Gangland, Brick is my man, I regardless if I move by and click the bangers in Harlem, which rep the red flag, dead bag for less than an ice grill. The jet black tech clap, niggas, you might squirt. How many years has Tanner sat in a cage when he could have been out here spitting? Like 11 and a half years in the cage. 11 and a half. Yeah. My life's been a living hell. Niggas know me through music, murder, and prison cells. Don't give a fuck if my vision sells. It probably won't, cause only gangsters are wishing well. I did gel, in and out, since a missing tell. Bitches always love me, so you know it, nigga, getting mail. I know I ain't getting bell. Every time I die, I fell. If I get life now, I know I'm gonna die in jail. Them 11 and a half years, they fucked up your career, big man. I wouldn't say they fucked up the man's career. Man, man has to understand, yeah, that um, all of these things that we, that we endeavored yeah. in life is what kind of what kind of gave us our own platform because mm. people knew to themselves that what them man there is talking about is is well, do you, know what, I mean? do you yeah. get what I'm saying to you so at the same time um, um, man can't be expecting to be doing what they're doing and, and don't expect no pit stops <laughs> they don't work like that you know what I'm trying to say it's real so yeah it's, um, I would say that, like if anything we fucked over our, ourselves really yeah. and truly because with you know what I mean, with yeah. in and out, of, in and out of jail. Certain of us, like myself, was in and out of jail. You heard what the man said. If you're young out there and on some real fuckeries, then you want to do music. You better know which path you want. Dirt on your hands, blood on your shoulder. My nigga doing life. They did dirt with a cobra. He turned and he bit him, and now they in prison. And this could always happen when you live in how we live. So I'm gonna go on now to give some flowers to the people that were filming these Donnies, you get me? The real Donnies that really was living it when you could be shook to come round here with your camera because you might not leave with it. So let's start with the locks, big man. Streets is mine, the streets is mine. Why is that? My coats are ten, my heats are nine. Let's ride shack, rise the mat for firing back. We firing first, the niggas better hire a hearse and get their black suits ready because the max shoot heavy. What is your relationship with him? Yeah, Reed Locks is someone that, that's known me since I was a proper young boy and that. Yeah, since I piss and tell. Um, like, yeah, Rude Locks, um, obviously, he's seen that the man them's doing their thing, and as youth man, that he's watched grow around the, around the area, around Loughborough, Brixton, and all that. Yeah. He just in, invested his time and energy into the man them, and you get me, and, and these abilities, and you know what I mean, gave us a platform. Yeah. So you get me respect to Rude Locks every time. Who pop more guns than a little bit? Me, what is you, an idiot? Yeah. Niggas feel my shit when I spit in this M1. Yeah, got mad guns, guns up in the cabin. Katana ain't the type for the fist in the stabbing. Pioneers, my chameleon, sticky business, streets incarcerated. You get me? The locks that we've just talked on. Man like Blue, who went on to be Muller Cake and Dexter. You get me? These men were really out here with the cameras in the dirty south. You get me? They're the ones that need flowers. There weren't no SBTV, there weren't no Grime Daily, and there weren't no Link Up. These men picked up their cameras and they really hit the streets. What was your connection with all of them? Michael Millions I went to school with. We were yeah. in the same class. You get me? Salute to Michael Millions, a real pioneer, because obviously he created the major platform for yeah. most, of, most of the artists that, that people would say kind of set the foundation for London. We all had Michael Millions mixtapes, and that's yeah. a fact. Um, um, Dexter Blue, you get me? Um, Muller Cake, like I, I've known Dexter since since he was a kid, and that. Look at that. You get what I'm saying to you? Like, yeah. we, like we, we all grew up together in that. So yeah, salute to Dexter. Um, who else? Who else? Sticky. Obviously, our sticky business now. That's the combo and that. Yeah. Yeah. Them and they are, they, I've known. For, forever since I was a teen and that you get me salute to Tacumbo and that when I came out of jail 2005 and that you get me those I think Sticky Business was the first DVD to, to uh, that I, that was ever on yeah I came out of jail fresh I think I was on a town visit yeah at the time and um Jajan that brought me to um um one studio I think in I can't even remember where it was in. I think it was in Brixton still 
I can't even remember, that's how long ago it was, but yeah. And obviously to combo them, they were doing the sticky business. Um, what's my man's name again? St I think it's Stan Owuso and, and the man there. Yeah, yeah. They, were doing, they were doing the sticky business thing and th that's when, um, I mean, the, um, the white and red vest, <laughs> yeah, with the glasses on and that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I remember them. Yeah, I definitely remember that. They were the first, the, the first DVD for me to like that ever. Uh, What's the name? So yeah, definitely salute to them and they because them and they, they were pioneers on the thing. Yeah. You get me? They kind of set a foundation. And the streets incarcerated. The streets incarcerated. That I'm sure that I'm sure that's Demas's platform. Yeah, that's right. I think right. it was Demas's yeah. platform. Yeah. Isn't it? yeah, big up Demas as well. You get me? No. Like all of these, all of these um, platforms actually created created what they would call the UK Rap Foundation. Isn't That's it? right. So yeah, they kind yeah. of created that gangster rap foundation. Not to say that there weren't people um, doing hip hop before us, because you got um, like Black Twang and other people. But yeah. our thing was kind of different. It was more more gully. Yeah, it was yeah. gully and it rude boy business and yeah. all that. So yeah, it was different. So they created the platform for 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 that you hit me they create yeah. the foundation for that stuff mama I multiplied gave me five granddaughters two grandsons they too handsome did jail time for two handguns and they gave your youngest son life that's two bad sons never praise for the good that's done we did plenty good we're the ones that turned our block into a trendy I understand the history that like, I never knew who my chameleon was because I was getting football at Lillian Bailey's with his big brother you get me Jason before I never knew who any my chameleon was. That's how far back it went. Then I used to be on the fucking block in Kennington with Taz. You remember Taz? Analyze this, you get me? One of the first UK artists to put an album out from the roads. Yeah. And my chameleon. He went to school with man as well. Oh, you he see was, that? Yeah, yeah, Taz yeah. is my, that's my bedroom, man. Look at that. You get me mad love for yeah, Taz as well. Man so used to, to Taz. You know Taz was a dirty piece of work back yeah. then, you get me? Yeah, Girls yeah. galore, but he was yeah. all over the world <laughs> yeah. with it. Yeah, Death the, Jam the, and the, that shit, you get yeah, me? They got Taz, so definitely. yeah, man was seeing the growth of my chameleon, you get me? And seeing what he was on, he was vicious with it. He had a, let's say he had an inner strength to get out there. Man yeah. used to be at the bus stop, I'm driving past, I'm like, where you going? Yeah, I'm just going to film Young Spray. Just going to film Joe Black, K Coke, you get me? That's what he was on, all over the fucking place. Man was on it, so big up my chameleon and the rest of them, man. Yeah, definitely, flowers are juice. Tell me how the fuck can I change? I'm a be all I can be. If you see all that I see, then you understand what I'm doing. If you see all of my G's, boy, we not a gang, we a movement, and we got plans for improvement. Need a couple of million there, like a million here, million there, couple million spare. You, man, like Temp Man, man, like Shaq, all three of you branched off from PDC. All three of you were fire. Everybody knows that. I want to know which one of you is the hardest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it to I'll give it to my younger brothers, them Tempman and Shaq Corleone. I couldn't tell you who was harder than who. You know what I mean? Because yeah. obviously, you get me. They were all they're both. Um, you get me younger than me and yeah, guys that are full of talent. My last little circle of pain. Since I was eight, I felt the strain that pops in my brain, partly to blame. Hack cause the strength for my name. Secondary was my hypest days. They saw I was troubled, I gave a fuck, started to slip in my brain. Man, yeah. Jack had that voice and <laughs> and that crazy delivery. And um, Temp Man, Temp Man could say anything. Yeah. He could say absolutely anything and it sounded awesome. fire, so yeah. you know what I mean? Cheat up, turn my feet up. Ow. I get beans, but I told you roll the weed up. The weed up. It was Ramadan, Ramadan, and I was fasting. Ow. But it ain't stopping me from coming back, blasting. They definitely, they definitely, I was more, I was very, I was more technical with, with, with hip hop. Yeah. You get me? I came from that technical era. You get me? That Jay the Kiss and Nas era. Yeah. But yeah, they, 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 they definitely, I give it to my younger brothers, man. They were fire, man. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And you have to remember also with they, with, with Tent Man and, and Shaq, my, my delivery was very um, US. Yeah. Because I came from that time where we were, we were like, when we rapped, we kind of emulated. I'm not a game, nothing to be played. I got to aim, revolver, nothing to be sprayed. The same, revolver from back in the day. Four fifth, leave no chase for the jakes. Four fifth in your face for the cake. Run up with a gun up, take it, escape. Leave you naked and tape. We really give it to like, Temp Man, Shaq, Thievey. Yeah. Get stinks. When you give it to, 
you have to give it to them man because them man they were giving you straight British hot, hardcore hip hop. Yeah. You get me? So yeah, they really and truly you have to give it to them because they're really the foundation of anything that that that's like that that you hear now. Yeah. They gave you the UK a voice to actually be UK and do the UK thing. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Yeah. But before that, it was definitely, we, we were doing a lot of emulating. I'm too chill for these shit, I'm too chill for these shit.